Hey Pisces, this is an X reading for the 13th through the 19th to see if you and your ex are likely to um, get back together. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you guys like the reading, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, please go to my site at pinkariangm.com. Select which reading you'd like. I'll get the notification instantly. And um, we can go from there, guys. All right. Pisces. What's going on for my Pisces? Let's see. One more shuffle. Here we go. Overall energy for this reading would be the Five of Cups, complacency, boredom. Kind of feeling like, man, you know, I'm not good where I'm at, but you know what? I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm comfortable because if I move out of this state, then, you know, I'm, I'm going to you know, allow in some tomfoolery. So it's like, you know what, I see that cup, but no thank you. Not right now anyway. That's the way I feel. Five of Swords, yeah. This is conflict. This is conflict. This is basically Five of Swords it's winning at all costs, right? But in all reality, there is no winner, okay? Um, I feel like you're the one that's actually walking away. Before the other person can even approach like you're just like throwing your hands up like you win before they even start because you've been there done that so now you have your sword raised up in defense is a defense mechanism for you i don't i think at this point you're you're not willing to argue you're not willing to engage you're not even willing to take the chance of arguing with this person again that's strong That's strong. And I think you feel that way because when this person said things to hurt you or did things to hurt you, they almost had a smirk on their face when they did it. Like they got, I don't know if you can see that, I'm trying to let it get in focus. Almost a little smirk, like, huh. And you felt like they were happy that they um, made you feel, you know, a certain way. Like they got, they felt good about that. Hmm. They come as an eight of swords. They're thinking about what they've done. They're thinking about what they've done. This is Gemini energy. You know, instead of the Five of Cups being here, feeling regretful, this person to me, they won't allow themselves to really feel regretful because that will, that will mean that they've done something wrong. I feel like this person does not like to feel like they're wrong. It does something to their ego. It messes with them. All right. <laughs> what you want is a page of coins. This is just to, to move forward. Like you want to take baby steps. You don't want to, want to rush into anything. You just, you don't want to argue anymore. 
that's just the bottom line. And you're not willing to give your heart fully to anyone at this point. I feel like this is you, it's this, this relationship, this connection has knocked you off your feet. It's not you off your feet. And I feel like in your heart, you feel like you will not approach another relationship the way you did with this one. Like you don't want to be all in anymore. It costs you too much. Whew. What they want is a four of coins. Shielding themselves, not allowing themselves to feel hurt, regret, trying to not allow themselves to feel hurt, regret. I feel like this person is very rambunctious, like they overreact a lot, especially when they feel like you step on their toes. Mean. They will never let you know that you really bothered them, truly bothered them, but they are truly bothered. They're trying not to think about this connection. They're trying not to think about whatever they did wrong. All they can focus on is what you did wrong or how they perceive that you have done something wrong. Way and heavy on me. Okay, so what you need is to be the empress. Start over. For those of you who this is speaking strongly to, and it may only be a few of you, it's time to let go and start anew. Get your power back, get your strength back, start feeling good about yourself. Because I feel like you were really beat down here. What they need is to be the king of coins, to take care of the person that they claim that they love. To be responsible, to take responsibility for their own actions, to take control of this situation. And honestly, guys, you know, I feel like, let's just talk for a second. <laughs> I feel like this is your counterpart because the Empress, you know, the, okay, we have the Empress and the King of Coins. Let me state that first. The Empress and the King of Coins, all right? And for me, this is the major arcana for the Queen of Pentacles. Now, because it's more earthy, you see all the green and all the growth around her. Now, granted, she has all the other elements, though. All the other elements. She has a fire. She has the water. She has the air. She has everything. Okay. She has all the abundance, or she has all the tools, much like the magician, to do and start whatever it is that she sets her mind to. This person needs to be the king of pentacles and match the empress. Is there anyone else involved for you? You may have your eye on somebody. You may have your eye on somebody that's better suited for you with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is more you just focusing on your, um, on your family, on your children if you have them. But you're looking for somebody, you're wanting somebody 
that's better suited for you. Is there anyone involved for them? We have the Six of Wands. I don't feel like there's one particular person involved for them. I don't. There may be somebody that they spend a little more time with, but I don't think it's one particular person. I think this person lacks attention because it diverts their attention away from, you know, what they really have going on inside with this Eight of Swords there. likely Nine of Cups it's, it's very likely this person will come back and tell you what they think that you want to hear I'm getting that strongly this is the only Cups card in this reading is the Knight of Cups now the Knight of Cups is a night that, yeah, they can be very loving, but they can go overboard. Um, they only kind of do things sometimes when it's to get what they want, when it suits them. Sometimes this night is in love with the idea of being in love. It's emotions. But it's not necessarily positive emotions, depending on, you know, what's around. This is, this is not good, guys. But use your power of discernment when this person comes back, because I feel like they will. Stand in your power of the Empress, okay? Stand in your power of the Empress. If you want this Ten of Pentacles, Make sure when this person comes back that they're using good emotions, balanced out, you know, on the same vibe and level with you. Um, because I feel like they're way up here because I feel myself getting way up here. Um, make sure they're in the King of Pentacles energy. Okay? All right, Pisces. This is, I, I'm going to have to go and, you know, just sit in my room for a little bit and meditate because this was kind of heavy for me. Um, so you guys take care and I will speak with you soon. Okay. Bye now.